Hey, Drew with Mission RV Services. So today's complaint is one we get quite often. So my Atwood slash Dometic water heater is not working on electric and is not working on gas. So this could be a couple things. It could be a circuit board. It could be, um, you know, the emergency cutoff switch is bad. The T-stat went bad. But generally what we find is bad is this little thermal switch right here. So in here, there's a thermal switch and that basically goes from the board through the, the thermostat and the ECO and they all kind of work together in a symphony. And, but when that thermal switch goes bad, there's no power getting to the board anymore. So it shuts everything down. It's a safety device. So the Atwood and Dometic water heaters have three safety devices. There is the uh, pressure relief valve up on top here. This is the pressure relief valve. It has the, the uh, thermal switch, which we're gonna be testing here in a second. And it has a thermostat, an ECO, but it also has a plug down here at the bottom. And that's a final fail safe that will blow out if this just gets too much pressure in it. So we've uh, already pulled part of this off here. So this is what we believe the culprit is today, is this little thermal switch. Um, I believe it goes up to about 90 degrees Celsius, which is roughly around, uh, you can do your calculations, but I believe it's around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So this sits over the gas burner and if it gets too hot and sometimes it just gets old and it's an electronic part, it fails. So when this fails, it gets no um, signal to the rest of the system and to the board. So it doesn't allow 12 volt to pass through it. So we're going to do a continuity test on it. So we'll make sure our, we're getting good continuity through the meter. And we're going to go ahead and check that out right now. But we're going to put one end on here and we'll put the other end in there and nothing. So we're not getting anything through this. So that tells me it's bad. So I'm going to go grab another one of these. We're going to hook this up and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so we have our new thermal switch and we're going to do a continuity test just to double check it before we put it in. We got our tone. We have good continuity. So let's hook this up. So this hooks up to the right side of the thermostat, which is always on, on an Atwood Dometic is on the outside. And then we'll hook it into the board. Now, we're all hooked up in there. So we heard the tick from, from our board. So now that we've got our new thermal switch in, as soon as, as you saw, as soon as we put that new thermal switch on there, we got ignition. This is something you can definitely do yourself. Uh, these thermal switches, you can find them on the old jungle website for, you know, probably 10 bucks. And depending on what make or ma or brand they are, they're usually all the same. Just look up Dometic Atwood. Um, you can get them your local RV store if you need to, probably be a little bit more money there. Um, this is definitely something you might want to keep an extra one on hand. These do go out quite a bit. So um, definitely something you can keep on hand, but please do not run this water heater without this safety device in here. It's very important. I would rather see it go out on you than to try to bypass it. There are ways that you can bypass this and please do not do it. We see it on forums a lot where they say, oh, just eliminate it and go ahead and plug this and that in and, and you'll be good to go. Do not do that. Don't put your family at risk, yourself at risk, or your rig at risk. Uh, for $10, it's not worth it, okay? Just make sure, uh, keep one of those handy. You know, that's usually the problem on a lot of these Atwood Dometic water heaters. When that goes out, everything goes down. Replace that, and you're back in business, getting hot water for you and your crew. So that's been uh, this week's Mission RV Services Monday quick tip. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell if this video helped you out. Until next time, I'm Drew with Mission RV Services. Bye, everybody.